I want to be forever young. Do you really want to live forever? Forever. And ever. Today's October 4th, 2019. I'm Brent Nally. It's about half past midnight here. I've been at day one of RADFEST, which stands for the Revolution Against Aging and Death here in Las Vegas, Nevada at the Westgate Hotel. I had a lot of fun. I networked with a lot of great people. And today was Rad City primarily. So from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m., was Rad City, which you can see up here. I'm walking into Rad City for the first time in this footage, so you're kind of viewing it like you were there for the first time with me. This was my first year here at RadFest. This is the fourth annual RadFest. I've known about it since, it's, since it started, but I've had excuses like work, and I was fortunate enough to travel Europe with my wife last year. So I was really excited to be here, met a lot of great people, so when you register, they give you the little pamphlet here, which has all of your information uh, for the whole week with the schedule of all the speakers and some other uh, great advertisements in here for some products that, that I believe in. So I won't go through all of this right now, but I read through all of this and it was great. So it also has all the companies here who purchase booths and I read up on all these companies. I was just trying to scope things out for today and set up some great interviews and some great products to release to everybody to make you feel like you've been at RadFest. So this video is great to share with people who couldn't make it to RadFest, which is the majority of people on the planet. And it's also great for the approximately 1,000 people who are here at RadFest because you'll see there's so many booths, so many products, so many people to network that there's no way you can possibly do it all. So hopefully with my video, if you can share this with a friend or family member, or even just check it out when you're here to see what you've missed and what you might want to stop by and what booths you might want to visit uh, on the next day if you happen to see this before RadFest is over. So as you can see walking through here, it's a pretty big conference room and it's pretty awesome how many booths are set up. Everybody was really nice, passionate about their products, and I'll run through a few of those right now. Just a disclaimer, I could only get to so many booths today. I plan to get to so many more in the next few days. So stay subscribed to this channel for the upcoming daily RadFest Roundup. This event so far has been great for me because there's so many people who I've watched on YouTube for so many years and connected with on Facebook and other social media, but this is my first time meeting so many of these people in person. So there's a little bit of that celebrity effect where you're kind of starstruck a little bit to meet some of these people. And it's pretty cool, but you know I don't really get too starstruck with celebrities. Everybody is just people and we're all just trying to do our best. So let me just run through some of the booths that I saw today. And this is by no means the best ones or in any order. They're just the ones that I happened to stop by today and look at. There's many more booths that I hope to be able to share with the audience here and interview the founders or scientists or just the main thought leaders of these companies. I was really excited to see some familiar faces today at RadFest. I saw Dr. Bill Andrews, who I've interviewed on my YouTube channel. Definitely check out that interview if you haven't seen it yet. I also saw Dr. Aubrey de Grey. I didn't get a chance to meet Dr. Aubrey de Grey because he's kind of like a rock star at this event and so many people were swarming him. I didn't, I didn't want to bother him, but I definitely plan to speak to him and hopefully get an interview update with him sometime in the next few days here at RadFest. And I also got to see Liz Parrish again and chat with her. She's phenomenal. I hope to get another interview update with her as well. So first, in the morning, I saw Andreas, who has been named the Director of Global Outreach for BioViva. And I'm really excited about this. Andreas and I have been connected on LinkedIn and social media for a number of years, I believe. And so I think he's gonna do a great job, and I'm really excited about BioViva. If you haven't seen it yet, I interviewed the founder and CEO of BioViva, Liz Parrish, uh, in July in Seattle about her telomerase and myostatin gene therapy that she's done. And I'm hoping that she's gonna be sharing updates on 
not only the company of BioViva, but also on any particular health updates for her since she is patient zero. And I did get to see Liz and chat with her for just a few minutes. When the event ended at 10 p.m., I had an interview scheduled with Ben Zion, which we had a great time recording that. I'll hopefully be releasing that in the morning once I make sure I watch it and there's no issues with the audio or anything before I release it. And Ben has some incredible news to announce, so you'll definitely want to stay subscribed for that. Ben is part of the United States Transhumanist Party, and he's got some exciting news to announce, so stay subscribed and make sure you check out that video in the morning. And when we were recording that video, Liz actually jumped in behind us and kind of took us off guard, but we're going to leave it in. Unedited is great for the long forum interviews. I do the editing to make these videos a little bit quicker and have some more production value. I just want to say that there are incredible people at RadFest. The message here is incredible. A lot of these products and services are incredible. But to me, what Liz Parrish has appeared to have done with her telomerase gene therapy and her myostatin inhibitor gene therapy pretty much blows everything else away. I mean, she's dramatically reversed her aging, and yet people are talking about this 2.5 years that people have reversed aging from this study of these nine people that's circulating around the internet. Put the focus on Liz Parrish if you want to talk about who's actually reversed biological aging the most. It's pretty overwhelming. So I'm really hoping to get another interview with Liz and get some updates. And she will be speaking uh, in a couple days at RadFest. So hopefully she'll be sharing those updates with everybody. So stay subscribed to this channel. You'll definitely get updates in the next few days on what's going on with Liz Parrish. Bioviva, her personal health situation, if she can share any of those updates. I stopped by the Canarize booth and they were really nice folks. And apparently the founder and scientist is gonna be stopping by tomorrow. So I plan to get an interview with them. I'm a huge supporter of medical marijuana and cannabis. I think there's dramatic health benefits from these products. I've talked about this on my YouTube channel in the past. Personally, almost every single day, I rub the Grateful Dudes Healing Balm into my right ankle, my right knee, sometimes my lower back and my right shoulder, and sometimes I even rub it in on the top of my uh, hands here because it just feels good. So I love this stuff. I think there's incredible healing benefits in it, and they have their own products. They gave me a couple little samples of their CBD uh, hemp creams, which smell phenomenal. One smells like mint and the other smells a little bit more like cinnamon. So one's kind of more hot that you're supposed to put on before you exercise and another one, the mint is kind of meant to be used for after you exercise. So hopefully I'll have a nice interview with them and the founder can share more of the science behind the CBD. CBD as an industry is just exploding right now. So from an investment standpoint, if you're looking to invest in any of the CBD or medical marijuana stocks, you might want to check out this information here from Canarize at the RadFast booth. While I'm telling you about my Grateful Dudes Healing Balm, I also want to let you know that I put magnesium oil on most of my joints almost daily because it's really helpful for healing and magnesium before you go to bed is also really helpful to get you deep sleep. So I've been doing that for years. I get this magnesium from Earth Shift products because I really like that brand and trust that brand. So I thought just while I was telling you about this, I'd also tell you what else I put on my skin. On a personal note, I spent a lot of time at the Qualitude booth today just chatting with their co-founder, Anar Isman, who I recently connected with on LinkedIn just last week, and we really hit it off, had some great conversations. Anar and I see eye to eye on a lot of the big ideas in longevity right now and a lot of the roadblocks and challenges that we have in longevity. And we probably see eye to eye because I'm 34 and he's 35. So we grew up in kind of the same time period, learning some of the same type of information. Whereas most people at RadFest, I'd say, are 50 or so and older. Anar reached out to me about a week ago and told me about his company, which I think is a great idea. It's called Qualitude and they are bringing you three products right now, but they hope to scale out more. 
Those three products right now are Metformin, NAD plus patches, and also rapamycin. Qualitude's co-founder is a medical doctor, so basically what they have done is the medical doctor can write you a prescription for these products that they offer right now and hopefully more products in the future because we know that these products are generally safe and that they have strong anti-aging benefits. So if you wanted to purchase those products, feel free to jump on Qualitude and give it a try and see if the price and convenience is right for you. Personally, I got my metformin in Bangkok, Thailand, because I did some research last year and found that the cheapest metformin that I could find from a Google search was in Thailand. So I just bought quite a bit of metformin while I was there because you don't need a prescription for it in Thailand. You just walk into a local pharmacy and purchase it and it was super cheap. You can get about a year supply of metformin for about $30 USD. There's at least two exosome companies that have booths at Radfest. One is Organicel right here, and I did pick up their pamphlet but didn't have much time to talk with any of the reps there at their booth. And I didn't get to the Chimera Labs booth about exosomes, but I'm really excited about Chimera Labs, and I've been chatting with one of their employees who's at the booth, and I will get there tomorrow and hopefully be able to interview one of their employees, and I hope to interview their founder and CEO, Dr. Duncan Ross, who is a speaker here at RadFest as well. So stay subscribed for that. And you can see me here in the Lax Far Infrared Sauna, which was a lot of fun. One of my best friends, Sherman Ray Butch Jr., has this exact sauna. He used it in his room when we were living together in 2011 and 2012 in San Jose, California. And he'd go in there for 15, 20 minutes almost every single day. And I thought it was hilarious. I totally believe in it, it makes sense. This sauna has far infrared waves that are inside the sauna and you close it up and there's silver lined throughout the whole uh, inside of the sauna. So the infrared waves are just bouncing all off of you while it's closed up in there. And it gets pretty warm. I was in there for probably about eight minutes and I hadn't started sweating yet. You're supposed to stay in for about 15 to 20 minutes and you can do it daily. And there's a lot of benefits in it according to the you know sales rep there. It's, you know, some people might call it pseudoscience, but it makes sense to me. Honestly, I'm not gonna buy a sauna and I'm not gonna look into it much more because I think things like gene therapy are, are how you're gonna actually extend your longevity and really have your best health benefits. And it's so much easier and less time consuming than doing this. If you wanna hop in a sauna for 20 minutes every day, more power to you. It felt good in there, it was warm. I like going in the sauna, but what this whole transhumanist movement is all about is really just about keeping people as young and healthy as possible, saving us time and energy and improving humans' lives. So if you wanna jump in a sauna for 20 minutes every day, more power to you. But I had a lot of fun in it and just wanted to say that it looks like a very legitimate product if you're into that thing. So it's almost one o'clock in the morning and I gotta wake up and do it all over again. I'm really excited for tomorrow. I hope to be interviewing the co-founders of RadFest, James Stroll and his wife, Bernadine. They both gave a phenomenal tag team, heartfelt speech tonight that you definitely felt the emotions and they said a lot of powerful words. I could not record any of that because I wanna follow all of the RadFest terms and conditions and their rules all that filming is off limits so i'm trying to bring everybody here the most experience of radfest that i'm allowed to do so you can feel like you've actually been here and seen what it's like and stay subscribed because i should have some really great interviews coming up and ben and i had a lot of fun talking about what he has coming up for the transhumanist party candidacy if you found this video valuable, then think about sharing it on one of your social media platforms like Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and maybe somebody else can feel like they were at RadFest too. As always, if you haven't already yet, make sure you subscribe, 
smash that like button if you haven't yet. It drives the algorithm so that more people can find this content. And same thing with commenting. A lot of people don't realize that commenting helps drive the algorithms and it helps build more of a community. As long as I can, I will reply to every comment that I get until maybe I just can't handle it too much if I have too many comments. But that is not the case right now. So if you have any questions, comment. I'm happy to answer them and excited to bring you Radfest Roundup Day 2 tomorrow. Forever young, I want to be forever young. Do you really want to live forever? Forever. One love. And ever. One soul.